Okay, today we're going to be doing a screen replacement on an HP. This is a 14M. It's a, the X360 M series. This exact one is a 14M hyphen DW0023DX. Don't know if you're going to be able to see that, hopefully. That's the model number there. And this one has a cracked screen. So we'll open it up so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, it's got this big gash here in the corner with a glass uh, spider webbed and cracked all on the side. And the touchscreen doesn't work anymore because of that. It's tapping everywhere because it thinks it's constantly being pushed. Um, that's a pretty common issue when you have a cracked screen. So this one's pretty simple. Um, if you have this one at home, all you're going to need really is a guitar pick. And we use iFixit, um, the ProTech toolkit. This has like 64 or something bits um, on this laptop. It's only Phillips screws, so shouldn't need anything more than that. But uh, take the screen out. It's pretty simple. Um, you're going to use your pry tool. Like I said, we use a guitar pick, but you could use like a credit card or something small that you can wedge in between. Um, on this one, if you look at the top, um, we're going to start at the top. It has this little black bezel here, so they have the actual glass. And then it goes up to this plastic bezel, and then that part behind there is the actual metal. The silver piece is the metal for the back of the screen. So we're going to put our guitar pick in between the metal, which is the part of the back of the screen, and the bezel. So not between the bezel and the glass, but between the bezel and the metal. Um, and we're just going to push that in, and we're just going to slowly pry it. You'll hear some clips. Um, it is also held in by some tape. But if you stick it in, just go a little bit slow, prying it, it will slowly start to come out, just like that. And the tape is on both the left and the right side. There's no tape on the top or on the bottom. So if you keep that in mind, you can use the pick and put it in a little bit further. Um, you can almost go all the way in with this one. You won't hit any connectors because the only connectors are on the bottom. So you can go in pretty much all the way with this and pull down, and you'll separate the tape. Um, you'll hear the tape start to rip, which is fine. And do the same thing on the other side. And you'll hear the clips detach, and you'll also hear some of the tape. Um, you might even have to go up and down a little bit to make sure that you're fully separating the tape. And there are also plastic tabs at the bottom. Um, there's no glue, but there are plastic tabs. So the best thing to do is just pull it straight up, and it will come out like on this levering action here. And then you can just fold the screen face forward, so that it's laying on the keyboard now. And this is a X360, so it has a 360 degree hinge. So it's okay for the laptop to lay flat like this. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take out the screen cables. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you there. Um, this is the main screen connector, and these are for the digitizer. Uh, I believe this is the hall sensor, which detects when the screen lid is closed, um, but that might also be related to the touch screen or something else, I'm not totally sure. Um, for this first connector, the screen connector, we'll wedge underneath this little tape here, peel this tape back, try to be careful because it's a fragile connection connector. Peel this back a little bit, and you'll see we have this little lever, lever here. You can use your fingernail or this guitar pick or whatever you got, pry tool. Um, that will lift up just like that, and it pulls straight backwards like that. Um, it's still attached here and here. So we're going to peel the plastic just like we did with the other one, just like that. And these two are a little bit different. These are like locking ones. Um, in order to unlatch it, you just lift up that little black tab. It will fold back like that. And then you can just pull the cable out. And we have one more here. Same thing. Pull the tape back. Lever the thing up. The plastic tab. And that will pull right out. And now the screen is completely detached. And we can start getting our new screen. This is the replacement screen here. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And pull the new screen out. Since the sides of the screen are held in with tape, um, you want to make sure that the screen you buy, um, if you're buying a used one, you're most likely going to have to um, put new tape on. And we're actually going to have to take this, this old tape off. Um, this is a new screen, 
Um, so this has tape already, but it's held in mostly with tape on the side, so you want to make sure that that's there on the new one. Um, so again, before we put the new screen in, we're going to need to take this tape off. Um, this can be a little bit tricky. Um, you know, in some instances, it will, it will peel, and you can kind of just pull it. Um, it will break apart, so you can kind of use your finger to just pull it off. It might take some time, but eventually you'll, you'll get it. As long as it's flat enough for the screen to sit in, it should be fine. So we'll keep moving along here. Try to get this off. Get all that tape off so we're good on this side. Start on this side. Like I said, in some instances, if you can get a good grip on it, you can pull it and it will start to peel itself off. Um, down the line, you can also use like tweezers if you have them to try to ravel it around the tweezer. Or if you have rubbing alcohol or some solvent, um, sometimes that will eat away at the, the the material that it's made out of. In this case, I'm just doing it manually with my fingers. Sometimes that's just the fastest way. And it starts to peel off. Yeah. And the last little bit. And so now we have no more tape on the screen. So just double check, make sure you don't have any remaining tape because it will cause the screen to be too raised and then it won't latch in and it will just be a mess. So here's the new screen here. Um, we're going to lay it down flat just like we did when we took the original one out. Lay it down flat like that. This one actually came with a little guitar pick pry tool. We don't need this because we have our own. Um, now we're going to kind of go in reverse order. Um, one of the things with this screen is that it's missing that little um, screen lid sensor slash um, whatever else the uh, um, this one was on this. So we're going to have to take this out. Um, this looks to be held in by some tape. And it's got it's underneath that little tab there. So we're just going to use our pick, kind of wedge it underneath. It would lift up like that. And that pulled out. It's held in by some tape. So transplant that to the new one. And now that sensor is on. So we're good to go. Now we can start putting the connectors back in. We'll start with the screen connector. Um, make sure that this is flat. It's level on both sides. You can use this to pull it in like that. This will then latch back down. It should click like that and tape over top of it. Next one was the new, the one we transplanted, this little sensor here. Um, again, make sure that that tab is up, tapes back, push it in. Push that back down, tape over top of it. And then finally, the last one, make sure that the cables are routed correctly in the plastics. Flip up the little tab, peel back the tape, push that in, latch it down, and tape over top of it. So now it's always a good idea to, before you put tape on it and glue it and everything like that, make sure that it turns on. You don't want to tape it and then find out that it doesn't work. So we're going to turn it on now and see what it looks like. Make sure it's okay and that the touchscreen works especially. Put the HP logo there. Okay, now we're on Windows, so if we can just test, make sure that the actual touchscreen is working, which looks like it is. Um, so now we'll shut down the computer and um, get that finished up. Shut that down. And uh, now that's off, so now we can finish it up. 
pull this back. Zoom out a bit for you. Okay, so now we can start um, picking out the things that protect the tape so that we can get the screen tape down. So if you didn't have this um, double-sided tape, you're definitely going to need um, to make sure that the screen's being held down. This is a new screen, so it came with tape. So we'll just peel the little protective film over top of it. Like that. And on the other side, just like that. And now we can put the screen back. Now you're going to want to align the bottom. Make sure that the corners line up on both sides like that. You can even snap them in and then slowly lift the screen down. Again, making sure that it lines up on all the corners. And then when it looks good, you can just start pushing down. Try not to use too much force because it is glass. Push down that. You'll start to hear some of the clips latching into place. You can even apply pressure from the back. Make sure that they're all clipping in. And then also, always a good idea to make sure that there is enough pressure put down on the sides of the tape. Make sure it's making good contact with the back. Just like to push up and down like that. Make sure it's nice and taped down. And that's pretty much it. So that is how to place the screen on a HP X360M convertible. It's a 14M, it's in DW00230.